Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Path of Exile. I'm picking right back up where I left off. I'm going to hopefully not be ranting and raving about uh, League of Legends and dreams of streaming and pro gaming careers and whatever else I touched on in that 30 minute long uh, rant. Yeah, I'm going to categorize it as a rant. That's kind of what it was. Uh, so I have to get a couple more pages in here. You know, I can actually talk about the game a little bit. Uh, since that's what I should be doing in general. Uh, I'm kind of like, oh god, Firestorm, gotta keep moving. Oh, it's following me again, gotta move. Uh, no, I, I, it's a Firestorm shrine. There was a brief moment when I thought this was a jingling shrine. Because, well... If I stand over here, it looks like that's the name on the shrine, even though that's not actually how it works. That's what it kind of looked like. Now, I'm not sh entirely sure if there is strictly one page per hidden area. So I kind of need to explore this area completely. should just really do it quickly, get it over with. That's a dead end. Okay, it looks like there are multiple pages per area, so I do have to find another one. Unless this is a fake page. It could be a trap. Who knows? Is the boulder gonna chase me out of the room or something? I don't recall that happening last time, but I don't know. It could happen. You never know. I say stranger things have happened, but stranger things haven't happened, so yeah. And carry this. Ah, uh, what else is new? Uh, two remaining pages. Great. I thought there was three total. I guess I picked up one. It's a three remaining. So obviously there's only three remaining. Or there's only three pages. I just thought of something too. I did an episode split. I didn't do any sort of voice checks in between. So I have no way to sync this episode up. So, this seems like a. Actually, I'm gonna clear out this last room here. And, oh, this last room here. And there's gonna be a brief little transition while I do some stuff in the background. If, when I get around to running this episode, I forget, there's going to be me opening and closing various menus while saying check to sync up what the hell is going on. So, maybe be right back, maybe you'll see what the hell is going on. Who knows? You'll know, I won't, because I'll likely just have forgotten about it. Alright, got that all done. Let's find this last page and get out of this stupid library. Been down here way too long. This actually probably will not have been a terrible period of time overall. I mean, I, I kind of took my time going through this, but it was story time episode. It was story time episode. It was a story time episode last time, or some I don't know, whatever. I spent the entire episode telling a story while trying my best not to die. I still died a bunch of times anyway, because hell, that's what I do. It's kind of my thing. I die a lot. I die a lot repeatedly. Now, if I just died, like, every so often, I think, you know, I just died. If I just died a lot, every so, 
every few episodes and then didn't die in those in between episodes I could just say I died a lot every so often you know I die a lot in what seems like every episode so I die a lot frequently now I really have to cut out that habit once I get to Merciless now it's annoying I'm losing experience yeah it's not the end of the world Merciless the XP loss is gonna be a lot higher I really need to not be doing it. Yeah, I really do get spoiled by pretty much all of my other characters that I have. You know, I'm going to start this sentence over. All of my... Now I'm looking at the items on the floor. This is where I killed the exile last episode. I'm like, I never did actually look at what's on the ground. Grab those rings for the hell of it because they're small. And they could have some decent resistances on it. No. No. So those will just be sold off. And what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying now. What else is now? I'm um, thinking, thinking, focusing. Not paying attention to the game, standing still. What was I saying? This is my big problem. I got, I got distracted by a pile of loot. Talking about dying a lot. Merciless experience loss. I remember now. I just have to kind of back up to the last thing I remember and retrace my steps. And I still remember after talking about retracing my steps, so that's a plus. Pretty much all of my characters that are not played in Let's Plays have been ranged characters. All the characters I play in the Let's Plays have pretty much been melee characters. The original character was a duelist, dual wielding and using, I think, dual strike or double strike or something. The next character was again a duelist, then it was a marauder, and then I believe it was another marauder. And then at some point briefly in between, I... What's another book for? Do I have to bring it back over there? Fuck. This tapestry... No, that's apparently it. Okay, this was the... I'm going to finish my quick story quick, and we'll look at gems. My quick story quick. Yes. Again, words. I touched on this last time. Weird statements that I make. Just totally awesome. I briefly had a ranged duelist. I believe I was using Reign of Arrows for a brief period of time. The problem was that that league ended. I kind of said, screw it, and just re-rolled as something different altogether. And here we are once again with a melee character. Playing a melee character is, in general, a lot harder than playing a ranged character. A ranged character, you can just kind of shoot, kite around. Melee character, especially using multi-strike, you kind of, once you commit to a fight, you're in the fight, and that's it. You're going to either kill the stuff, or die, or if you're real lucky, you might be able to, like, leap slam out of it. So, it's completely different from all the other stuff I'm playing. Alright, what do we have here? We have some various... Elemental Resistance Auras. Uh, chance to knock back Support Gem. Cast on Melee Kill. Elemental prolifer Proliferation. Essentially, if I ignite, freeze, chill, or shock an enemy, this will have a chance of spreading that to another enemy or enemies nearby. Uh, added Chaos Damage. Elemental Weakness, neither of which I can use because of Intelligence Requirements. And Cast on Death. Spread Spells can only be cast on Death. Mm-hmm. Indeed. So Cast on Melee Kill was one of the gems that I was looking at for to possibly link up and t link up to Enduring Charge or Enduring Cry so that I would get Endurance Charges. I didn't realize that this needed to be linked up to the melee attack so that I would have to slot this with either Heavy Strike or... Infernal Blow. I would then also need to link up a spell. 
So I would need to put this gem in there, as well as Enduring Cry, and that would leave me one other slot for, say, uh, Life Gain on Hit, Multi-Strike, or Melee Splash, or Life Leech, which would be the fifth thing I would throw into that. There is also an Endurance Charge on, I believe it's Stun Gem. That would be great. But the problem is, well, this is basically just a bad gem for the purpose of this, or what I want it for. So, for now, so just double checking quick. I will not be taking any of these. Because pretty much none of these are useful to me at the moment. These auras, while they would be tempting, I'd lose 40% of my life, so my health bar would be about yay high, and you see how much I die already. Remember, life so, is precious. Not doing that. I think I'll go check what the heck's with that other little thing over there. What I'm looking forward to is, I believe it's the same quest on Merciless difficulty, is the cast on damage taken. I... There's a damage done. I can look in a second. No, I, I'm, I can't remember now. Kill you. Just go run over here and hide quickly. Cast on... Cast one damage taken. How does this work? It's a trigger jam. It causes a link causes a linked spell to activate when the player accumulates damage taken. And depending on The description of that's confusing, I don't feel like looking at the moment. But essentially, I link that to Enduring Cry, and Enduring Cry will cast every time I take a certain amount of damage. Which will be really nice. Because I take a lot of damage. You can end up dying as well, but whatever. For the time being, essentially what I should be doing is have another melee splash, or something gem linked up. No. Hmm. Maybe with cleave? I'm not sure which would be the fastest. But essentially... Ah, it's on melee kill, though. Where the hell was this... Is this book I've been chasing just one of those little lore things that, that is strewn about the world? Is that what I've been getting distracted by? It's quite possible that's what I've been distracted by. Yeah, that's what I got distracted by. So we're actually done with the library, as far as I know. I've also been recording now total for about 45 minutes, so this is going to be a very, very short episode. Um, yeah, the, with the linking of gems, I... I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can grab a Endurance Cry... Or, Endurance charge on stun. I'm not. I. I believe I cannot stun with an axe. Let's increase stun duration. Hmm. I gotta. I gotta check. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, yeah. So, for now, that's gonna be it for, the, for well, this very short episode of Let's Play Path of Exile. I've been recording for 45 minutes, because I just kind of kept going after the last episode. That last episode, I was talking for almost half an hour straight. My throat's starting to feel a little bit raspy. I also recorded a Rogue Legacy episode before this. And I was planning on recording an episode of Unepic as well, but uh, all that doesn't look like it's gonna be happening tonight. 
So we'll have two days worth of Path of Exile. I can record some unepic tomorrow, maybe another Rogue Legacy episode, and that will be awesome. So again, I apologize for the, the previous episodes ranting and raveling. Raveling. Raving. And I'm actually going to just do this and then that to get back to town because, well, I have a whole whopping five portal scrolls of which are going to be almost entirely used up, if not entirely used up, trying to fight Dominus, who I might just try and get done in a party during, like, prime time when there's a lot of people on and there should, in theory, be people attempting to kill him. We'll worry about that, though, when the time comes. For now, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Path of Exile. I already covered what's happening next time, I believe. If I didn't, well, we're going to do stuff. Have a great day.